Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about solving absolute value inequalities. In this video, we're going to talk about resolving inequalities in valor absoluto. Now, there's two things you got to remember with these. You have to remember that absolute value has two solutions. Acuérdense que valor absoluto tiene dos soluciones. Now, one from the positive side of the number line, one from the negative side of the number line, okay? The second thing, lo segundo es que... Uh, Remember that with inequalities, when you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to reverse the inequality. Cuando se multiplica o se divide por un negativo, la inigualdad tiene que cambiar dirección. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one here first, okay? So this is the normal one absolute value equation that we did last time, okay? So absolute value has two solutions, the positive and the negative, okay? So you would solve this one and you would solve this one. Entonces, aquí están las dos soluciones del valor absoluto, el positivo y el negativo. So, you notice that nothing on the inside changes, okay? Nothing on the inside changes, it's the outside. Positive 4, then negative 4. But what's happening here? ¿Qué está pasando aquí? Essentially, what's happening is you're multiplying the 4 by a negative. That's what's happening, okay? Um, you can think about it that way. All right, so then when we get over here, cuando vamos acá... Tenemos el positivo y después también vamos a tener el negativo. We're also going to have the negative 4 over here, right? So in essence, what's happening here? How did the 4 become a negative 4? Well, you multiplied it by negative 1 because it's on the other side of the, um, the number line. So what happens is you have to reverse this guy. Tienen que este, cambiar la dirección de esta inigualdad. So it's going to be less than. You see how I did that? Ven como cambia la inigualdad. So I have to change it. So you have your two solutions, the positive and then the negative. But when you have the opposite, the negative, you have to reverse the inequality. Now remember, nothing on the inside changes. Nothing on the inside changes. There's professors that teach it a little bit differently, but just for our sake and purposes, just to keep it simple, that's how we're going to be doing it. Okay, guys? So then we're going to solve this one. We're going to solve this one. Vamos a resolver este. Vamos a resolver este. Okay, so what do you do? Letters on the left, numbers on the right. Okay, ahora voy a este positivo 3. Acá se convierte en negativo 3. Okay, so positive 3 becomes a negative 3. So you have 4 minus 3. And x is greater than 1. Okay, same thing over here. Bring it over here, becomes a negative 3. Now be careful with these negatives, okay? Tengan cuidado. We're going to have x is less than negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Now, what you have to do, look at the thing I said, is you have to do a number line, okay, to show the solution. So, you always want to put the smaller value on the left. Quieren poner el valor más pequeño en la izquierda y el valor más grande a la derecha, okay? So, then you're going to go ahead and circle it, okay, circle it. Now, you see, this is greater than, this is not filled in because it doesn't have the equal sign. Este no más está, no está rellenado porque no tiene el, el signo de igualdad. Ok. No tiene el signo de igualdad. Um, entonces, ¿cuál número de la X es mayor que 1? What X value is greater than 1? Well, 2, 3, 4, the numbers that are to the right. What about this guy? What numbers, what X values are less than negative 7? ¿Cuáles valores de la X son menor que menos 7? Menos 8, menos 9, menos 10, los números que están a la izquierda. So this is the solution, okay? And the way you write it is it's, it's what's called um, a compound inequality. So it's either or, either this one or this one, okay? So the way you write the answer is x is greater than 1 or x is less than Negative 7. And that's how you would write it for your professor. Okay? Number 2. Let's go ahead and do another one. Alright? So remember, we have our two solutions. Tenemos las dos soluciones. So you have the x plus 2 less than or equal to negative 1. And then you have the other one. Después tienen el otro. You have x plus 2. The negative one becomes a positive one. Okay? Right? Normally, that's how we would do it. Right? You would switch it. But... Actually, we don't even have to do this one. Esto no lo tenemos que hacer. Okay? Why not? Well, watch this. Miren esto. Okay? The answer is no solution. Because I want to show you guys something. Okay? Think about this. 
Remember what we said about absolute value. Acuérdense lo que dijimos de valor absoluto. Okay. What's the absolute value of negative 3? You're going to say positive 3. Okay, great. What's the absolute value of positive 3? Don't say it's negative 3. Remember, the absolute value of 3 is still positive 3. Look at the answers. The answers come out to be positive. There is no way that something inside here is ever going to become a negative. No hay ninguna forma en que lo que esté acá adentro se convierta en negativo. Siempre va a salir positivo. Por eso esto no es solución. The absolute value of what value of what number will give me a negative one. There isn't anything. There isn't. So be careful, okay? The absolute value of what? Of any number, okay, will never give you negative one. So this is no solution. Much the same here. El valor absoluto, ¿cuál número voy a poner aquí para que me salga negativo? No se puede. Entonces, no solución. So it's no solution. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you're doing some of these, okay? What about number three? Let's do that one. This one is uh, pretty standard, but we're going to go ahead and solve it, okay? Remember, you want to isolate the absolute value. Quieren aislar el valor absoluto. So we're going to undo addition subtraction first. We're going to undo this guy first. So positive four, we're going to take it to the other side. He becomes a negative four, okay? Seven minus four is simple. That's going to give me a three. So we have the three out here. X minus two, absolute value. Seven minus four is three. What do I do now? You undo the three. Well, the 3 is right next to the absolute value, so you're going to divide. Ahora tenemos que deshacernos del 3. El 3 está pegadito al valor absoluto, quiere decir multiplicación. Para deshacernos de multiplicación, hacemos lo inverso, que es división. Entonces nos queda x menos 2, valor absoluto. ¿Estamos dividiendo por negativo? ¿Are we dividing by a negative? No, we're not. So we're, gonna, we're dividing by a positive. So we're just going to leave it the same. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So now we're going to solve that. And this guy we can't solve because it's positive number. It's, it's going to be greater than a positive value. Okay. So now we're going to write x minus 2 greater than 1. And then the other one is going to be x minus 2 is going to have the negative 1. Okay. But we're going to reverse this inequality. Okay. Vamos a, a cambiar la dirección de esta inigualdad. Okay. Porque tiene el negativo. Es como decir que si multiplicamos esto por negativo 1, ok, entonces se convierte en negativo 1, entonces tengo que cambiar la dirección de esta inigualdad. So let's go ahead and solve this one now, guys. Solve each one. So negative 2 becomes a positive 2. And that becomes easy. 1 plus 2, 1 más 2 es 3. Igualmente el otro, menos 2. Acá se convierte en positivo 2. So we have x is less than negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Great. So now you have those two. So now remember, you have to do the inequality. You have to do the number line. So we're going to put the smaller value on the, on the left, the bigger value on the right. Put it right there. Extend this guy. Okay, el valor pequeño a la izquierda, el número mayor a la uh, derecha. We're going to go ahead and circle this guy. We're not going to fill it in because it doesn't have the little equal sign. No lo vamos a rellenar porque no tiene la línea de igualdad abajo. Entonces ahora nos ponemos a pensar. Let's start with the 1. What x value is less than 1? ¿Qué valor de la x es menor que 1? Bueno, el 0. Ok. Uh, perdón, perdón. El 0 que está acá. Ok. So the zero, the, the ones to the left. So now what x value is greater than 3? 4, 5, 6. Okay. So we're going opposite. So entonces vamos a, a lo opuesto. All right. So you just kind of have to be careful and ask yourself the question. So what x value is less than 1? ¿Cuál valor de x es menos que 1? So if 1's here, then 3 is over here, then okay, it's got to be over here because 0 is over here, the negative is over here. So it's very important you put the smaller value on the left, the bigger number on the right, just because that's how we always do uh, math, right? From smallest to largest, left to right. Okay. 
And so, sorry about that. This is not, this I'm trying to uh, scratch that out. So then you would have to go ahead and, and, uh, and do this one. Okay, so your answer is, la solución de este, x is greater than 3, or x is less than 1. Okay, and that's your answer. So let's go ahead and see if we can do, <coughs> excuse me, do some more. So let's go ahead and do these, this one. Um, same thing, we're going to go ahead and isolate it. Vamos a aislarlo. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this negative 5, negativo 5 al otro lado, becomes a positive 5. So 4 plus 5 is going to give me 9. So remember, when you're solving this, you always want to undo addition subtraction first. Cuando están resolviendo esto, siempre quieren deshacerse de la suma o la resta primero. Okay, now notice here what's happening here. Okay. You see how we're dividing by 3? Estamos dividiendo por 3. So what's the opposite of dividing by 3? It's multiplying. Lo inverso de división por 3 es multiplicación por 3. And what you can do is you can just cross multiply here. Podemos multiplicar cruzado directamente. 3 por 9 de un solo. Boom. 3 por 9 es 27. So 3 times 9 is 27. Cool. 2 Absolute value of x plus 4 less than 27. So now, normally what we would do is we would divide, right? Normalmente lo que haríamos es dividir por dos. And you could, and you, you would get a decimal. Y si podemos, vamos a quedarnos con un decimal y eso se está bien. Um, y, and it's up to you guys how you want to do it, okay? And maybe we should go ahead and just do it. Um, and then I'll show you an, an, another way. So let's go ahead and divide by 2. Vamos a dividir por dos. And the reason is just because I know you, you don't like decimals, but we need to know how to, to work with them. Dos entre dos, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we're going to get x plus 4 divided, absolute value, divided by 27 by 2, okay? So what's half of 27? ¿Qué es la mitad de 27? What's half of 27? Um, is that 10, 14, 13.5? Okay, we get a decimal. It's okay, we get a decimal. Okay, so now we're going to get our two solutions. Ahora vamos a agarrar las dos soluciones. X plus 4, less than 13.5. And then we get our other uh, equation or inequality. X plus 4, negative 13.5. Reverse it. Remember, you got to change it. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and solve it. So the plus 4 becomes a minus 4. Okay. Same thing here. Plus 4 becomes a minus 4. All right. So then over here, you have 13.5 minus 4, which you should get 9.59.5. Okay. Now, what about this guy? Now, be careful with those negatives. Okay. Negative 13.5 and negative 4, negative 4, the signs are the same. We're going to add, se va a sumar, negativo 17.5. Okay. And now we're dealing with decimals, but that's okay. It just, it, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and do the number line. So smaller value on the left, el número pequeño a la izquierda, el número más grande a la derecha. We're going to circle it, circle it. So what x value is less than 9.5? Menor que 9.5? Bueno, acá a la, a la izquierda, to the left. What's less than 9.5? Well, 8, 7, 6, 5, all the way to the left. What x value is greater than negative 17.5? ¿Qué valor es mayor que negativo 17.5? Sería la derecha. Uh, negativo 10, negativo 5, los positivos que van a aceptar a la mano izquierda. So how do you write it when it's when it overlaps? Well, the answer is and. Okay, so because they overlap, both of these are the solution. And the way you would write it is negative 17.5 because it's between these two points here. Okay, so you have negative 17.5 and then 9.5 over here at the end. 
you put your X in the middle, okay, and then you do your arrows like this. Okay, and that means between, between. So the solution is between negative 17.5 and 9.5. La solución es, está entre negativo 17.5 y positivo 9.5. Okay, so whenever it overlaps like this, right here the solution is in the middle like this. This is how we would write it. And I want to show this to you guys because your professors in college, you guys will be doing a lot of this. And this just means between. So between, the x values between these two values here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do uh, another one. Vamos a hacer otro. Now remember, we want to isolate the absolute value. So the positive 3, be careful. Do not do 3 minus 2. Okay. You want to take this guy to the other side. Because 3 is subtracting this, but this guy is multiplying the absolute value. So what you want to do is you want to undo the addition subtraction. So you want to undo this guy. Comes over here, becomes a minus 3. Okay. So then you have negative 2. Absolute value of x minus 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Okay. Now remember, just because you see a negative doesn't mean... Um, it's no solution or you can't go on. You have to isolate this absolute value, okay? What do I do now? You're going to divide. Vamos a dividir por negativo 2. Negativo 2. Okay? So you're left with the absolute value of x minus 3. Are we dividing by a negative? Yes, we are. So we're going to reverse the inequality. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. And now this is a lot easier to work with. So now we can go ahead and do our two, two inequalities x minus 3 is less than 1, and the other one, x minus 3, is greater than negative 1, which is the opposite, okay? And then you would solve this one. You would get x is less than, be careful, it's not negative 2, positive 3, that would be positive 4, okay? Same thing over here, negative 3 becomes a positive 3. Okay, so then x is greater than 2. Let's go ahead and do our number line. Okay, we have 2 on the left, we have 4 on the right. All right. So now, we're going to circle it, circle it. What x value is greater than 2? Over here, 3, 4, 5. What x value is less than 4? 3, 2, 1. ¿Cuál valor es mayor que 2? El 3, el 4, el 5. ¿Qué valor de x es menos que 4? El 3, el 2, está acá. So, you're going to see it overlaps. Entonces, sobrepasa los dos aquí otra vez. Como el número anterior, el número 4. So, how do you write your answer? You're going to put 2. You're going to put 4. You're going to put the x in the middle. And then you can do your two little arrows pointing to the left. And this means between. So the solution is between 2 and 4. La solución es entre el 2 y el 4. Pero no incluye el 2 y no incluye el 4. Porque no tienen la línea de igualdad. <clears throat> so remember, when it doesn't have the equal sign, guys, that means it's not included. All right, let's do number 6. How about this one? Be careful. It's not 4 plus 3. No es 4 más 3. Okay, it's now 4 plus 3. So remember, you have to undo addition subtraction first. So this guy here, positive 4, becomes a negative 4. And then 8 minus 4 is easy. That becomes positive 4. So now you have 3 times the absolute value of x plus 5. Okay? And you have it there. Now, last time we did, we divided by 3. La última vez dividimos por 3. Now... For this one, I want to show you also another way you can do it. You can actually distribute the 3. Pueden si quieren distribuir el 3. And so if we do that, we're going to go ahead and get 3x plus 15. And then it's greater than 4. You can do that. And that's perfectly uh, legal and acceptable. So now that we have the absolute value isolated, we're going to go ahead and simplify. And actually, I'm sorry, solve it. Split it up into our two inequalities. Greater than 4. And then we have the other one, 3x plus 15 is less than negative 4. Okay? 
So you see how we did that? Ben como hicimos eso? So we distribute it. Okay. That way we don't have to deal with the fraction till the very end. And then here we have the same thing, the negative 4, make sure you, you reverse inequality. Ok, entonces ahora lo resolvemos. Positivo 15 se convierte en negativo. Now 4 minus 15, be careful, that's going to be negative 11. And then you have 3x. Ok, divide by 3, vamos a dividir por 3. X is greater than negative 11 thirds. Now be careful. Remember, just because I see a negative does not mean I reverse inequality. No más porque veo el negativo no quiere decir que voy a cambiar la dirección de la inigualdad. Estoy dividiendo por positivo. I'm dividing by a positive. So the, the sign is going gonna, is gonna to stay the same. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Finish it up. Positive 15 is going to become a negative 15. Okay. So now we have negative 4 minus 15 becomes negative 19. So we have 3x, divide both sides by 3, both sides by 3, x, remember we're not dividing by negative, no estamos dividiendo por negativo, ok, entonces no voy a cambiar la dirección, se va a quedar igual, so now we're going to get negative 19 thirds, ok, so be careful with that, just because I see a negative does not mean I change the direction of the inequality. So now, put the smaller value on the, on the left, so negative 19 thirds. Put the bigger one on the right, negative 11 thirds. So circle, circle. All right, we'll start off with this guy, negative 11 thirds. So what value is greater than negative 11 thirds? And just, you can just think about negative 11. Don't think about the thirds. What's greater than negative 11? Well, it's just to the right, the positives right here. Okay, now what about... This guy, what number is less than a negative 19 thirds? Same thing over here to the right. Negative 20 thirds, negative 5, negative 18. I'm sorry, negative 20. Okay. And so they would be going in the opposite direction. Okay. So what's my answer? How would I write it? Como lo voy a escribir? You're going to write x is greater than negative 11 thirds or x is less than negative 19 thirds. Okay, entonces espero que les haya ayudado. So remember, try to isolate the absolute value. Remember that when you do the negative, you reverse the inequality. Okay, and that's the key to these. All right, all right, guys, good luck. We'll see you next time.